Parent, you started in 1968. Oh, it's a long time ago now. <laughs> Nobby was the most philanthropic type of person, a very gentle person, and he used to make us all smile when we were all busy working. He'd say, just stop and smell the roses along the way. <laughs> that was his signature, hello. Nobby's philosophy was to help people help other people, and his vision was to see worldwide that people worked together and supported each other. And I think that that draws a lot of people into our company because it's not the normal corporation where you fight to get to the top. I mean, everyone can get to the top in our lovely company, yes. and Rick does have that same philanthropic sort of attitude, and uh, I'm thrilled about that because that's really keeping Nobby's dream alive. I came from Italy when I was 12 years old, and. Most people that came at that age without education that basically went and worked in a factory. Never ever dreamed that I could be running a million dollar business and have this amazing group of managers in my business. And it just gives me so much satisfaction and seeing people developing through the ranks as well. It's just something very special. I actually achieved this amazing trip to Hawaii and it was like a dream come true. Because for 12 years we haven't been, haven't been anywhere with my husband and I thought, you know what, with him or without him, I'm going. <laughs> he says to me one day, well, I thought this company invites the husband or the partners to come along. I said, yes, but how can you come? For 12 years you've been saying to me, we can't travel because you can't, put, you can't have anyone else looking after the business. He goes, well, don't worry about it, I can work it out. It was really good him coming along though, because for him, it was a very eye-opener because in the past he could not understand how you can actually make money through direct selling. My kids, when I first joined, they didn't really understand why mum was out two nights a week. And then when I said to them, when mummy achieves this level, which was sales director, I will take you anywhere in the world you want to go. And we went to New York and years later I found that my son said, you know mum, when you took me to New York, what I said to myself, one day I want to work here. And he was 15 years old. And 15 years later, through his journey in life, he ends up working in New York. So isn't it amazing how you can impact your children just by opening up their mind to the possibility of, the, you know, of traveling and seeing you achieving, I think they, they sort of pass their way too, that anything is achievable. If everybody looked at what our strengths were and not what our weaknesses were, imagine where all our businesses would be. If in their own companies, Instead of looking at what you didn't do well, look at what you do well and what you're good at and take strengths of all the strengths that everyone has. If I didn't have all these amazing people in my business, do you think I'd have like a $5 million a year business? It just wouldn't happen. Because I really believe that when people are loved and nurtured, they never want to leave. So my daughter, she says to me, Mum, you know, over the years, and my son says the same, watching what you've done, and watching your confidence has just really made such a difference to who we've become. It's such a beautiful industry. The sisterhood that exists in this industry and in this business is amazing. It's one of the things that keep me here. I think it's one of the loveliest elements of the business, that we work together, we help each other, and everyone does well, and you can be as successful as you want to be. The biggest thing that Nutramedics has given me is something that money can't buy. It's time. Family time, me time, time with my larger family, time with my team, time with the, the woman in Nutramedics himself. Um, yeah, time. My daughter was two and a half when I started Nutramedics and my son was five. And the reason I actually started was my son asked me to attend his Christmas concert back then and unfortunately because I was working full time I had to fly to New Zealand and I couldn't make it back in time. And so I rang him from Auckland Airport and said I'm sorry darling but I can't come. Um, to which he replied that's okay mama you never come. I started this five years ago in the middle of the biggest global recession in 80 years and at the time I was on the board of directors with a multinational company on a $250,000 income. Mm -hmm. So naturally people said to me, look don't do it, there is a downturn. Well in the first 12 months we turned over just under a quarter of a million dollars. So I said downturn schmountain. While we produce some of the best skincare and makeup in the world, we are actually in the business of changing lives because I would leave home at seven in the morning, come back at seven at night, be overseas two or three times a month, and never see my children. 
The business is all about empowering women to take control of their financial destiny and to help other women to do the same thing. I have a Masters in Economics from Cambridge University and some people think that I've wasted that in doing what I do. But I said that I went to university so that I could have a lifestyle and help other women um, do the same thing. So I feel that I've achieved that much more with Nutramedics than I did in the corporate arena. I've never found someone in Nutramedics who would say, I do this just for the money. Whereas in, again, I meet so many women who work in other organisations that would say to me, I'm, I hate this job, I'm just doing it for the money. I was miserable, the hours were ridiculous, you know, four hour shifts in the middle of the day just wasn't convenient, there was no family time, calling in sick wasn't an option because then I didn't get paid. If my little ones weren't well, that was a problem too, you know, I just couldn't take time off when I needed to. Whereas with Nutramedics, it's a totally different story. I work when I want to work, um, I pick the hours that I want to work and fits in well. We have the marriage of the perfect product and the best opportunity, but also we're giving back to the community in all sorts of areas. It's just everything I ever wished for, to be able to empower other people to achieve what I have achieved. I didn't think it was an option either, but I'm here and I'm living it and loving it. You have to change the world by changing the individual. And I'm speaking from the perspective of an individual whose life was completely changed. I went from exhausted corporate executive, never seeing my children, never having an influence on their lives, to now being able to be at home with them and um, yeah, play a huge role in their lives. They are the next generation and therefore if we can impact and influence them, that influences the generations to come. So I think organisations like Nutramedics give women that opportunity to change and therefore by changing the individual, you can change the world. Here's for the next 45 years of great success and happiness and joy and great, great wonderful things happening for everybody with whom we come in contact. So cheers, cheers for the next 45 years.